Welcome to another video from GDS Estimating. This one is about framing systems in our WinBid Pro V15 software. And kind of just an overview so you understand what they are and, and what they do for the software and for your estimates specifically. Um, so once you have a program open, you select a vendor, you select a job. If you haven't created any jobs yet, you would have selected the sample job. Um, but then you'll see framing systems on the left side in the menu tree there. And it's going to open up a list. So no matter what manufacturer you're looking at, you're going to see a list of frames that have been pre-configured. And any new catalog we put out will have configured frames along with details. So let's go ahead and look into one of these. Um, let's just pick this flush front system here and hit edit. Now what we get is a window with four tabs in it. So there's a frame profile tab. So this has some miscellaneous settings like the description, um, the type of frame it is, which has to do with the labor calculations also, and profile. Um, so a lot of things are to help you select the frame from a list when you've got a list of a couple hundred frames. Um, and then other things are very specific about how the the components are drawn on the screen and how they're cut. So these settings here determine uh, how things are drawn. These settings here determine how things are cut at the bottom. The glass sizes are determined by these settings. You've got your daylight openings and then these are the adds to both the height and width of the glass. So that will give you your final glass sizes. Uh, your cock joints, that'll determine your frame size from your rough opening size. So all those things are kind of uh, configurable in this first tab. Now the, the second big part of framing systems is the, the part numbers, so the stock lengths. Um, and this is the stock lengths tab. So each component has any number of stock lengths that can be configured for it. So you've got your head, uh, sill, horizontals, and then you've also got uh, details that can be viewed. Let me get this in view here. So you've got details that you can see uh, for any given component. So this is what helps you, you know, determine if you're using the right part, what part numbers uh, make up that component, and make sure they're configured properly. And also, those are what will be compiled when you go to do shop drawings, when you do a final uh, compilation of your CAD drawings and all the details. So all that stuff is configured in this screen. And then we've got some miscellaneous parts like gasket and caulking. Um, now this particular system only has glazing gasket, which it's the same part inside and out. And it's applied when you have it in this little field here. This is kind of a tip. Uh, whenever you see it here, it's going to be um, applied to any daylight opening. So it figures out the perimeter of every daylight opening for glass, and it uses that much vinyl and it's multiplying it by two, so that means it's on the inside and the outside. So that's gonna give you your uh, feet of gasket, basically. So any of these other parts can be used for different types of systems. And then we've got our last tab that is mi more miscellaneous things, which are screws, setting blocks, clips, uh, water deflectors, and dams, all those types of things. Those can all be configured here. So you'll notice that some of these also have an asterisk too, and they show up a little red number next to the, the, the row number. And that means whenever there's a red number, it means there is a multiple for that part. Like here's a single one that doesn't have a red number. So anytime you see a red, a red row number, it means there's more than one basically for that particular part. So all these types of parts are configured here. They can, they can be modified and added to and changed and uh, basically manipulated by you in any way you want. So you can modify systems that are already configured for catalogs. You can add your own systems by going down here and hitting add new and basically just filling in all the blanks. You know, you're telling it what the name is, uh, what profiles there are, whether you want the head uh, uh, to interrupt the, um, the jams, things like that. So and then obviously all the part numbers that are needed. So when you do your estimate um, and draw your elevations, you're going to pick a system like this, or just one of these systems, and it's going to draw it the way it's configured. And then when you optimize your stock lengths and 
produce a parts report, a final part report, uh, that's where all the information is coming from, is one of these framing systems. So all the part numbers, extrusions, gaskets, screws, everything comes from the framing system. So it really is the heart of the program, and it's important to know a system before you actually create your job. That's one thing you know, we want to make sure you're aware of, is check over a framing system before you create a job. Go in and if you've already checked over a system, even put your initials on the description, and you can do that. Um, you can do that right here in the list. You know, you can say, put it in parentheses, whatever. You can put a date next to it. Um, you know, anything that lets you know that okay, I've checked over this system. Now it's good. I can use it. Um, we recommend that just because sometimes you do things a little differently than the manu manufacturer. If there's an optional head, optional horizontal, things like that, that you like to use versus the standard, you want to make sure that the system you're using is configured the way you want. And we have a lot of catalogs in uh, on our site for the, the WinBid Pro software. And there's so many systems in each catalog that sometimes human error can come into play. So it's another reason for you to verify and check a system is to make sure that uh, you know things are correct whether it's the uh, sill flashing or the sub sill has the right profile and it's actually using the the type of flashing that you want to use so look at that part number um, you can spit out a quote with any system but you want to make sure it's accurate by confirming that the system is configured the way it sh that, that you need it to be so that's just kind of a brief overview. Be sure to check out our other videos that go into more detail on the different types of systems and into more detail on some of those different settings. All right, that's it. Thanks.